Good. So tell me something about that unit right here. This over here is an air filtration system. And what's special about it is that it's actually a nuclear air filtration system. So you can filter out any impurities and the oxygen outside. If there's a pandemic, if there's nuclear fallout, it will filter all of that out. As you can see, you have about one foot of filtration. And because it's plugged in here to the 12 volt, it all runs on solar. And if I remove this cap, and turn, and on, turn a, it on. Yes. A blast gate. Oh, and the blast gate, yes. Well, that's important. We don't and have to forget it. Turn it on it. with the 12 volt switch. You have clean air for you and your family, anyone else that you might have staying with you in the unit. And how many people total they can uh, utilize that filter? Uh, this filter can accommodate eight individuals. So as you can tell, there is there will be plenty of oxygen for everyone. Good, clean, fresh air. Nice. It also has um, 10 volt switches so that you can use it with a generator. Okay, so this is the 12 volt and right here is the 110 you said? Yes. Nice, so I don't have to be afraid from bird flu or any pandemic that no, you know we can not. encounter. Okay, like that, very good adjustable arm I see every direction nice so it's 110 outside and I am not sweating yet so that's pretty good before you turn the generator just you can show me the mm -hmm. the bathroom a little bit alright here you have a bathroom complete with home appliances you have a full sink with cabinet space and back here a medicine cabinet and a full toilet, none of that small RV toilet. None stuff. of those plastic, mm -hmm. tiny, bitsy, itsy. Okay, I got it. Yes. I got it. I like that. And in the back here, we have a full shower. Oh, let me focus my camera. I see. Well, yeah. get inside. Let us see how big it is. As you can see, it's there's plenty of room. Yeah, it is a full shower. Well, we had Oliver shower. here. Oliver is what, 6'8"? Yes. <laughs> Everybody knows Oliver. You have to go to Rodeo Drive and ask who is Oliver, and you're going to meet him. He's a descendant from Alexander the Great, right? Sure, so he was that. here. Yes, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Show yeah. me the... How so it's... A full shower. Okay. And you have your hot water, your cold water, and speaking of hot water, that's one of the features that this unit offers. And so here we have a fresh water tank. It's inside so that in the heat your water won't get hot or if it's really cold outside it won't freeze. And um, this RV comes with a on-demand um, hot water system. Okay. So you could flip these switches. So those are the water pumps yes, you just turn on. These are the water pumps that I turn on. And what is the above them? And above them is a fan. Okay, exhaust fan. Very good. The fan is complete with a nuclear cap in case there is any sort of fallout or impurities in the air. You can close that and keep you and your family safe. Clever. And what do yes. we have? What is that black box? This black box is actually um, the battery charger that we have from Germany. It tells you your battery levels. Right now you can't see. There's a little light here which tells me the the bat the solar ba battery that is is to full capacity not only full capacity even more capacity than is needed to power this well unit. welcome to arizona mm -hmm. so i see this is an rv panel just you see in the cut yes. in the big coaches so how does that work here i can check the battery levels and the, the uh, water levels of all the tanks we have septic uh-huh a septic tank a gray water tank black water tank here we had the fresh water which we went over so yes you can check all of your levels here with this panel very well tell me something about the plumbing why this plumbing is inside and is not built into the walls mm -hmm. like a professional uh, rv builder would do what um, what did we do wrong here yeah these are bpa free pipes we built them in here in this way so that they won't be affected by the elements. You won't get any water freezing. They're not going to burst from heat. 
So this keeps all of your water protected. Well, you are so right. I, I know that uh, very expensive yeah. RV that it costs thousands of dollars in damages because the, the pipes were into mm -hmm. the walls. We know from right. experience that this is much more effective to protect from any sort of temperature fluctuation. Excellent. Well, the water pumps are turned on. Yeah, so and not only do we have one pump over here, you could switch valves if you want to use your um, inside water and septic tanks or if you like to plug it into an outside water source. Like say, if you go to an RV yeah, park. Yeah, an or... RV park. Here we have... And what, what is this oh. big box right there? Um, Th that's the, the water filter? Yes, this is a water filter. Okay, mm -hmm. convenient. Yeah, and then we have a second water filter for the toilet. This is because the water that you're going to be using with your sink and your shower that goes into the gray water tank and it's recycled through this filter to use um, in the toilet. Not all of the gray water is recycled for the toilet, but just enough to fill up this tank for seven flushes so that you'll have extra gray water left over to use however. So we have implemented green. the green feature. Yes. Very well, show us how it works. It's a fully functioning toilet. Fully functioning, so it flushed right now using the recycling water tank that we have. The noise that you hear right now is the pump taking the recycled water and refilling the tank. Okay. And it will refill so that you'll always have enough for seven flushes coming straight from your gray water tank. Very nice. Okay, so basically it's going to shut off in mm -hmm. a second when the tank is full. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's wait and see that. That's why we have this floor elevated. To accommodate that mm -hmm. uh, additional tank we have. Well, very spacious. Alre already the pump is off. I, I love it. Yeah, it really is a great unit. And uh, you can come and show us how everything works here. You said with the pumps, they're water pumps and demands. They work out of the solar battery. Yeah. So uh, it's we hot. already demonstrated how they work with the toilet. Show us how everything works here in the kitchen. The hot water on the man tank, what that means is that it's not going to be constantly producing hot water. But when you do need the hot water, like whenever you're in the shower or whenever you hit the hot um, water switch in your sink, the hot water heater actually turns on and it's going to pump nice hot water for you. Very nice feature. So you, it turns on only when you need the hot water. Just so that you're not wasting energy if you're not going to be using it at that time. So another great feature that we have in So RV what Jonathan event. said that this is RV slash shelter slash slash disaster unit, hunting mm -hmm. cabin, uh, cabin, I'm sorry, I'm getting excited here. <laughs> you know, solar, self-sustained. Jonathan, you should have said that this is a green RV as well. I guess I forgot to mention that, but speaking of heat with that hot water, it is getting toasty up in here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this generator on so I could turn on that air conditioner. How do you do that? You have to go outside? With the touch of a button. Oh boy. You hear that? That's the yeah. generator working. It's very quiet, but if you say so. <laughs> yeah, we can use some air conditioning. Yeah, let me just turn that on. might take a second for the generator to kick in. In the meanwhile, oh, yep. I Here see, very good. So everything operates by the remote controls. Yes, that it does. So and not only is this an air conditioning unit, it also comes equipped with heating. Well, so what is the BTU? The BTU is 14,000. Wow, sounds like this is way more than you need for that uh, confined space. Yeah, it'll definitely keep this entire area, whatever temperature you may wish. Better be safe than sorry. Exactly. Well, you have a big kitchen, Vicky. It looks like a 10-foot kitchen and a lot of cabinets, yeah, you know, upper cabinets, a, lower a cabinets. large kitchen for the unit. There's plenty of storage space, as you can see. Here we have some cabinets on this side. We have shelving area underneath your sink. And one of the great features in this, since it is a functioning kitchen, we have Let this stove that. right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. So the stove and the water heater, they're connected with uh, stainless steel flex corrugated pipes and everything works from a propane bottle. Yes. Well, what is not to love about it? Have a fresh uh, cup mm -hmm. of coffee every morning and... Yeah. Uh, cook up some dinner. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, what do we have right here? I see you have a double bank here. And is this like a single bank? Or what um, is it? These are actually buds that we've imported from Europe. And, and Jonathan, how they operate? The cool thing about these is you can either have them as a bunk bed, I see. like such, or if you like, you can have them as a couch like this. And they're very simple to maneuver, very easy to change from one to another. Just put it right there, push it down, and you're good to go to bed. I love it. Can you see the TV from there? I can. <laughs> okay, get a, get a cold beer from the fridge. I see there is a custom molding here so you don't yes. uh, shake into the wall. So a big family, I mean if you have to use it for an emergency shelter, I don't see why not you cannot install another, you know, another set of beds yeah. and have it for six people. That's the great thing about this wall space. Um, you can customize this however you like. You can add uh, extra shelving for more storage capacity. You can put um, more beds sticking out, like a third row of bunk beds. So yeah, you can definitely accommodate more possessions, more people, however you like to utilize that space. Okay, underneath you can slide all kind of storage boxes. Yeah. Oh, we have some boxes already. What do we have? Underneath, here we have this um, RV extension cord. Okay. So that you can plug your unit um, into any sort of RV park, so you can have power, you can plug it somewhere near your home. Um, we do have our off-grid capabilities with our uh, generator and with our solar battery power, but if you do want to be on the grid, there's definitely the option to have your unit powered that way. So I see redundancy, redundancy, redundancy. There is no stone that is, has been left unturned. No. There's always an option, no matter what your desires are. I love it. And here we have some more parts for the generator. I see, I see. And all these boxes here are from the appliances. We have the box for the generator, the box for the TV. I see um, all the owner's manuals. Yes. All these manuals and papers here are so the, um, you can utilize the warranty for any of the appliances if you may wish to do so, you know, the original packaging, the warranty. Yeah, so every appliance, appliance, like as well the tires, like Johnny explained, they yes. have manufacturer warranty, everything is brand new, there is nothing recycled in that unit. No. I love it. And I saw that you have the touch-up paint right here, you know, it is a three-tone paint that uh, we have used, we have uh, this uh, durable flooring. You can drag what? Bullet cases or <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I know that you guys dropped some screwdrivers, some tools while fixing this place up and as you can see the floor is so perfect so oh. I think that's a testament to the strength. Absolutely. Code, well, there is nothing that, uh, you know, I'm excited, I love it. So why don't we just get a big rusty box and put it in the ground and call that a shelter. Because we're not doomsday preppers. We're always prepared in case there is some sort of disaster or scenario you want to get out. But we believe in enjoying things for the now. So you don't want a box that's just stuck there and sad. You want something mobile that you can enjoy with your family. You can go camping. You can use this if you need to get out of your property. Like we saw with the tornadoes recently, we've seen with hurricanes, people get stuck, there's flooding. You know, you need to be mobile. You really don't want to be stuck in the ground. So this is really about your safety in case something does happen and for your enjoyment when there's nothing bad going on. You just want to break a vacation, you know, you could pretty much take this anywhere. I know as John can show you, it's completely mobile. You hook it up to your trailers, so yeah. So, so this really is a, a full-time use from day one and I know a lot of people got divorced that they bought condos underground for one million dollars and this is and way, so way under one hundred thousand dollars and you can use it every day yeah. fishing, hunting, loving life, having a cold beer that's great! Anything yeah. else that you want to say? Nothing I can think of Wonderful, it's getting too cold in here we gotta turn that AC off and uh, just go and have some cold beverages yeah. Thank you guys, I love it! Bye. Bye. See you.